In this lesson, I'm going to briefly explain how to set up the assets that you're going to work with as you go through this course. Whether you downloaded the course or have it on a DVD, there's going to be a folder called Working Files. The Working Files folder has all the assets that you're going to need to use as you go through the course. The Working Files folder has these subfolders that include the After Effects projects that you're going to work on, along with a folder of Digital Juice stock footage. Digital Juice provided these video clips for us to use. They also have special effects and graphics that you can use in After Effects, and they graciously provided these for our use and for your use. There's some other assets here that I've provided. And moving on down the line, we've got some assets from Photospin, another stock footage company. These folks provided still images, these JPEG files, and then some vector files that we converted into Illustrator files and Photoshop files that you're going to work with inside the course. What I would suggest you do is that you take this Working Files folder and put it someplace that's easy to get to and certainly is on your hard drive. What I've done is I've put it here in my desktop because I'm going to go to it a lot in this course, and I suggest you do the same. Just have a link to it on your desktop, and that's probably the best way to do this. Also, you probably want to put the After Effects link here on your desktop as well because you're going to use that a lot as you go through this course. Finally, I suggest you make an empty folder. I call it the My After Effects Exercise Files folder. You can call it whatever you want. The reason for this empty folder is that you'll be working on projects and then saving them, and you don't want to save them over the original files. You don't want to replace the original files. So if you're going to save something, you probably want to save it to an empty folder like this, where you just keep it temporarily, and then later on you can just delete it from that folder. If you do accidentally save a file using the same name from the working files and save it back to here as something different, you can always go back to the original working files folder and just replace it. But nevertheless, it's a good idea to have this little folder here as a way to just to take care of things that you don't really want to save on top of inside the working files folder. So that's how I suggest you set up your desktop, have these two folders and this link handy as you go through this course.